A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by heresy shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice and decide all right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be banned around his waist and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with the little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den and the child lay his hands on the adler's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all of my holy mountains, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse sh shall set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, justice shall flourish in the time and fulfillness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fulfillness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fulfillness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from the sea to sea, and from the river to the end of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fulfillness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in this time and fulfillness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in this time and fulfillness of peace forever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have eyes that have seen and ears that have heard. And as I mentioned yesterday, they followed him, but then they acted upon what they saw and what they heard. This gospel is like a follow-up to yesterday. Follow-up, there's that word again. And so Jesus lets them know, down through the ages before me, there were those that yearned for my presence, but it's happening now. 
and you are gifted indeed to be present to me and to what I have to say and to what I am about to do. What an unbelievable and, and really great gospel. And when you do that, when you, when, you, when you see the Lord and you understand the Lord and you put what the Lord says into action, blessed are you. Blessed are those, he says that. Kind of a little twist, if you will, on the Beatitudes. Blessed are you who have heard and seen me because now you become a blessing unto others. A simple message for Advent this morning, my friends, be a blessing in all that you do in the season of Advent. It's another one of those words we don't use often enough. We, we leave it up to the priest or participating in liturgy, the whole notion of blessing. And I say this at baptisms all the time, blessing someone is not something relegated to the clergy of any particular faith group. We can bless one another. As I said, you know, this past weekend, we also can do that when we set up our Christmas tree, our creche, so many ways in the house that, that we can bless one another. You can trace the sign of the cross on the children of your forehead. You can Google up blessings for some of the Advent occurrences. You can get an Advent wreath very easily um, and put it on the table and light the candle some evening of the week and have the prayer with your family. Bring blessings into your home in all sorts of ways. We are kind of not really so many of us in church in the way that we used to be anymore, but church is really all about where the people of God happen to be. It's not the building, it's you, it's me where we gather. Gather in your homes. Renew saying grace before meals. Sit down with your family at night and say a little prayer at the end of the day. Bless yourselves in your home and let Advent be a time for a renewal of that because you have ears that have heard, you have eyes that have seen. You are so fortunate that the Lord has graced your hearts. Now give the Lord back to one another in a myriad, in a variety of ways in your own home that you pray and love the Lord in your midst. Happy Advent, my friends. Do something about it each and every day. Invite the Lord into your lives and your home as the blessing that the Lord desires to be each day unto you, those that you love. Take care and God bless. And now my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the blessed sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.